What's up techies? I've got the OtterBox Defender Series for the Moto X Pure Edition. If you don't know who OtterBox is, you've been living under a rock. This is one of the most well-known case companies out there. Many products compare themselves to the OtterBox. It's always worth taking a look at OtterBox, in my opinion, because they just actually put out a pretty quality product and they stand by it, you got a really good warranty that goes along with it. And with that said, I do appreciate OtterBox for sending this out to me. Very nice of them to do so. The OtterBox packaging hasn't changed too much over the years, but this has been their more recent kind of style and design. Gives you all the details that you need to know about the case. So let's go ahead and get on into this thing. So this is the Defender Series. This is basically their most rugged case that they put out. It does come with a clip and that's nice for those guys that like to have those clips. Let's take a look at their clip. And now the clip, it doesn't have that loud obnoxious clicking like you hear on some of these holsters. So I really like that a lot. But it's very durable. It actually adds another layer of protection. So that's something that you could actually use this for. Like if you want to put it in a bag or a purse, it just adds that nice extra layer of protection in case it gets all banged around. The belt clip itself is actually relatively wide, so it's going to be able to fit on pretty much any size belt. The Defender Series does come with a built-in screen protector, and it's kind of like a love and hate relationship with these things. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't really work that well. So I end up not using them if I can. You're going to get a tough silicone type layer that's more like a TPU style these days. They used to be really kind of soft, but now they've kind of redefined it and it's nice and rugged and rough. So it's a really rubbery material. It gives some nice good shock protection. Then you got your hard shell. The hard shell is going to be clasped together. So you're going to need to kind of get in these rivets here, kind of undo them. And you can see these rivets right here. You just kind of use your fingernail and you go around the entire case to let those off. And once you get them going, they start to come off pretty easy once you get those first couple going. And it's all around them, so you're going to have to make sure that you get them all. Don't use a lot of force. It doesn't take a lot to get them off. You don't want to break it. So, so you've got the two pieces here. I definitely recommend putting it down like this. That way dust doesn't get stuck between it. That can be kind of annoying. On the inside, it's a very soft material, so it's going to treat the back of the phone very nicely. So to get this installed, it's pretty easy. You just you know line up the camera holes and put it down, lay it face down. Now mind, I do have a tempered glass screen protector installed, so we're gonna see if it works with it or not. I don't wanna uninstall, I just got it, so, so I'm gonna to try to use it with the tempered glass screen protector and see how it works. Sometimes they work good, sometimes they don't. The particular tempered glass screen protector I have is actually relatively thin, so it's not gonna really get in the way too much. So just kinda of work around those edges, make sure all the clasps are back in place, that you have a nice flush connection. Next, to go ahead and get that silicone layer and just kind of start folding it onto the edges. All right, so once you get it all installed, you can see that this thing is definitely reinforced with some nice protection. One of the things that I really appreciate about what OtterBox does with these cases is that you get these dust covers here, and that's gonna help prevent dust getting into those ports. So it's really cool. Not to mention, you get a little bit of water resistance. You know, if you get a splash in that area, the water's not gonna get on inside of it. On the back, we've got a cutout for a microphone. You got your OtterBox logo. The texture is kind of pretty cool. It's going to be very grippy, so you're not going to lose your grip on it. You got a cutout for your camera and LED light. You got another port cover for your headphone jack. And judging with the size of that, it's actually going to fit most headphone jacks, so that's really cool. You got another microphone hole there. Looking on the sides, you got some button covers. Now these things used to be such a pain in the butt to press, and it actually feels really good. It's still nice and tactile. So I like that a lot. It's very clickable. It doesn't take a lot to press the buttons. That's actually something that will make me not use the case. If the buttons are hard to press, I'm not gonna use the case. On the top, we got a cutout for everything at the top of the phone between sensors, speakers, LED lights, and the camera. At the bottom, likewise, we do have cutouts for the speaker and also for the sensors at the bottom. One of the things that I judge pretty hard on about these built-in screen protectors is whether or not that it has an air pocket or not. 
Right now, this does. You can kind of see the plastic bending right there. Now mind, I do have a tempered glass screen protector and that sometimes will actually cause that air pocket. So keep that in mind because it kind of just presses it into a different area. It's not made to have a tempered glass screen protector between it. So when you're typing, it just kind of poses a challenge. You have to kind of press down a little bit more. And I'm just gonna say thanks for the follow. And it still seems to work, but you're gonna to have to press down. Now I like to use the swiping. So that still kind of works, but you're still gonna to to press down a little bit harder than what you're normally used to. Other than that little bit of play between the screen and the screen protector, it's not that bad. It's, it could definitely be a lot worse. In this case, I just know that it's gonna protect my device. If I drop it, I mean, you got all kinds of protection. You got great corner protection. You got bounce protection, the sides, and then also the front is covered because you got a nice raised lip right here as well. So it's just a very nice protective case. If you need something rugged, you really can't go wrong with OtterBox. If you're interested in picking up an OtterBox for your Moto X or any other device, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that we can see more Moto X content coming your way. And until then, stay techie.